Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to see the packing and introduction of the product Abbott Determine HBase AG2. You can see this here. It's from Abbott. I'm just going to introduce this product to you. Basically, this is uh, Determine HBase AG2 is an in vitro visually read qualitative immunoassay for the reduction of hepatitis B surface antigen that is HBase AG in human capillary and venous whole blood plasma or serum. This for professional use only. Uh, this is basically uh, these are the this is under test strip pack. You can see this here. This is the uh, catalog number seventy two nine four three, and uh, this is a under test strip pack. On a standard, um, you get uh, 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 one year of expiry year from the manufacturing date. I can just show you the product around. Basically, this is a test strip, and uh, if, uh, for using this this one, you it is enough if you use the whole blood, uh, sorry, plasma or serum. If you want to use the whole blood, you need to have the chase buffer. Seventy two to four three chase buffer is required for the whole blood testing. This uh, this test kit, this is a test kit pack. This test kit pack contains um, under test strips, and actually it is uh, ten cards, and each card has ten test. If you look at this is how the total packs looks like on the other side. This on the other side is looking like. This all looks like. Yes, I can show you around this pack. You can see about HBase AG2. See this. This is manufactured from about diagnostic from Japan. You can see the expiry period is written on the side. Can see the not that it, it can be stored in a normal temperature. Just to show you around, just to show you some packs. This is how the total discus look like. Okay, thank you. The Determine HBS AG2 test procedure training for serum and plasma samples. The Determine HBS AG2 test is a visually read qualitative immunoassay for the detection of hepatitis B surface antigen or HBSAG in human serum, plasma, or whole blood. Test Kit Components Each hepatitis B surface antigen kit contains one aluminum Ziploc pouch containing either 20 tests or 100 tests, a desiccant package, and package insert. Materials required but not provided, clock, watch, or other timing device, Precision pipette capable of delivering 50 microliters of sample with disposable tips, disposable gloves, biohazard disposal container, collection devices for specimens other than finger stick whole blood specimens, and a centrifuge. Test and sample storage requirements. The test cards in the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing desiccant must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 36 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until expiration date. Serum and plasma specimens should be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius if the test is to be run within seven days of collection. If testing is delayed more than seven days, the specimen should be frozen at negative 20 degrees Celsius or colder. Mix specimen well by gentle inversion of the tube immediately before testing. Avoid repeated freeze and or thaw cycles. If serum or plasma specimens show particulate matter or turbidity, specimens must be centrifuged at 10,000 G for five minutes at room temperature before sampling. Test preparation. Open the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing the determined HBSAG2 test cards. 
Remove the desired number of test units from the 10 test unit card by bending and tearing at the perforation. Removal of the test units should start from the right side of the card to preserve the lot number, which appears on the left side of the card. Store the unused cards and test units only in the aluminum pouch containing the desiccant package. Carefully close the Ziploc so that the cards are not exposed to ambient humidity during storage. Remove the protective foil cover from each test unit. Lay the test unit flat on a flat surface. The test should be initiated within two hours after removing the protective foil cover from each test unit. Do not touch the sample pad. Serum or Plasma Procedure Carefully remove the 50 microliter test sample from the supernatant. If a lipid layer is formed on the surface of the liquid, ensure that the sample is taken from the clear liquid below that layer. Apply serum or plasma sample by touching the tip of the precision pipette to the sample pad. Do not add chase buffer when using serum or plasma specimens. Read the test result between 15 and 30 minutes after the addition of the sample. Do not read the test results after 30 minutes. Discard the used pipette disposable tip, test units, and any other test material into a biohazard waste container. Interpretation of results. Hepatitis B surface antigen reactive. Two lines, control line or red line, and patient line or black line. For a valid non-reactive result, one line, control line or red line must be reactive. Patient line must be non-reactive. Invalid result, no control line or red line. The result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact technical support. The Determine HBSAG2 test procedure for finger stick whole blood samples. The Determine HBSAG2 test is a visually read qualitative immunoassay for the detection of hepatitis B surface antigen, or HBSAG, in human serum, plasma, or whole blood. Test Kit Components Each hepatitis B surface antigen kit contains one aluminum Ziploc pouch containing either 20 tests or 100 tests, a desiccant package, and package insert. Chase buffer and disposable capillary tubes for collection and transfer of finger stick samples are provided, but separate to the kit. Materials required but not provided. Clock, watch, or other timing device. A sterile lancet capable of producing 50 microliters of blood. Disposable gloves, sterile gauze, antiseptic wipes, and a biohazard disposal container. Test and sample storage requirements. The test cards in the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing desiccant and the chase buffer must be stored at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 36 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until expiration date. Whole blood collected by finger stick should be tested immediately. Test preparation. Open the aluminum pouch containing the Determine HBSAG2 cards. Remove the desired number of test units from the 10 test unit card by bending and tearing at the perforation. Removal of the test units should start from the right side of the card to preserve the lot number, which appears on the left side of the card. Store the unused cards and test units only in the aluminum pouch containing the desiccant package. Carefully close the Ziploc so that the cards are not exposed to ambient humidity during storage. Remove the protective foil cover from each test unit. Lay the test unit flat on a flat surface the test should be initiated within two hours after removing the protective foil cover from each test unit. Do not touch the sample pad. Finger stick preparation. Optimize blood flow prior to collection. Warm the hand by washing the hand in warm water or holding it in a heating pad or hand warmer for a couple of minutes. Lower the hand below the heart level before collecting a drop of blood. Massage the finger with a downward motion several times before performing the finger stick. Test Procedure Collect finger stick sample using the EDTA capillary tube. Caution: The EDTA capillary tube must be used to collect the finger stick sample. Clean the finger of the person being tested with an antiseptic wipe. Allow the finger to dry thoroughly or wipe dry with a sterile gauze pad. 
Using a sterile lancet capable of producing 50 microliters of blood, puncture the skin just off the center of the finger pad and wipe away the first drop with sterile gauze. To collect an adequate sample volume, quickly express blood down the fingertip by gently squeezing across the entire finger to the last joint, not to the end of the fingertip. Do not squeeze or milk the fingertip to accelerate bleeding. Collect the second drop of blood by holding the capillary tube horizontally and touch the tip of the capillary tube to the blood sample. Filling of the capillary is automatic. Maintain this position until the flow of the sample has reached between the two lines of EDTA capillary tube. Adding the finger stick sample to the sample pad. Touch the tip of the capillary tube containing the blood sample to the sample pad vertically and expel all of the contents. Avoid air bubbles. Wait until the blood is transferred from the capillary tube to the sample pad. When all of the blood is transferred to the sample pad, add one drop of chase buffer to the sample pad. Caution, do not lift the capillary tube from the sample pad before all of the blood has been transferred. A bubble may form which will prevent the complete transfer of sample. Only the liquid provided in the chase buffer bottle should be used. Do not use water or other liquids. Read the test result between 15 and 30 minutes after the addition of the blood. Do not read the results after 30 minutes. Discard the used capillary tube, test units, and any other test material into a biohazard waste container. Interpretation of results. Hepatitis B surface antigen reactive. Two lines, control line or red line, and patient line or black line. For a valid non-reactive result, one line, control line or red line must be reactive. Patient line must be non-reactive. Invalid result, no control line or red line. The result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact technical support. The Determine HBSAG2 Test Procedure Training for Venipuncture Whole Blood Samples. The Determine HBSAG2 test is a visually read qualitative immunoassay for the detection of hepatitis B surface antigen, or HBSAG, in human serum, plasma, or whole blood. Test Kit Components Each hepatitis B surface antigen kit contains one aluminum Ziploc pouch containing either 20 tests or 100 tests, a desiccant package, and package insert. Chase buffer is provided, but separate to the kit. Materials required, but not provided clock, watch, or other timing device, precision pipette capable of delivering 50 microliters of sample with disposable tips, disposable gloves, biohazard disposal container, and collection devices for specimens other than finger stick whole blood specimens. Test and sample storage requirements. The test cards in the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing desiccant and the chase buffer must be stored at two to 30 degrees Celsius or 36 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until expiration date. Whole blood collected by venipuncture must be stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to two days or 48 hours before testing. If whole blood is not tested within two days, samples should be centrifuged to remove the plasma or serum and then stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius within seven days. If testing is delayed more than seven days, the plasma or serum should be frozen, negative 20 degrees Celsius or colder. Do not freeze whole blood specimens. Mix specimen well by gentle inversion of the tube immediately before testing. Test preparation. Open the aluminum Ziploc pouch containing the determined HBSAG2 test cards. Remove the desired number of test units from the 10 test unit card by bending and tearing at the perforation. Removal of the test units should start from the right side of the card to preserve the lot number, which appears on the left side of the card. Store the unused cards and test units only in the aluminum pouch containing the desiccant package. Carefully close the Ziploc so that the cards are not exposed to ambient humidity during storage. Remove the protective foil cover from each test unit. Lay the test unit flat on a flat surface. The test should be initiated within two hours after removing the protective foil cover from each test unit. Do not touch the sample pad. 
Venous Whole Blood Procedure. Using the precision pipette with a disposable tip, apply 50 microliters of whole blood by touching the tip of the pipette to the middle of the sample pad, marked by the arrow symbol. When all of the blood is transferred to the sample pad, wait one minute to ensure the chase buffer does not overflow the sample pad. Then add one drop of chase buffer to the sample pad. Only liquid provided in the chase buffer bottle should be used. Do not use water or other liquids. Read the test result between 15 and 30 minutes after the addition of the whole blood. Do not read the test results after 30 minutes. Discard the used pipette disposable tip, test units, and any other test material into a biohazard waste container. Interpretation of results. Hepatitis B surface antigen reactive, two lines, control line or red line, and patient line or black line. For a valid non-reactive result, one line, control line or red line must be reactive. Patient line must be non-reactive. Invalid result, no control line or red line. The result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact technical support.